Welcome to today's training for Give Big San Bernardino County. My name is Linda Gerhardt and I've been working closely with the Community Foundation on Give Big and I'm the project manager for the event on the Mighty Cause platform and joining me today is Andrea from the Community Program. So hi Andrea. Hello, hello everyone and uh, welcome. I'm, we're glad you're here. Yes, absolutely. Um, so before turning things over to Andrea for a bit to talk about the event, since she is one of the geniuses hosting it and has lots to say about it, um, I just wanted to talk a little about, a bit about who Mighty Cause is and how we're involved in Give Big. Um, we're a nonprofit fundraising platform, and before this year, we were called Razoo. So the platform hasn't changed, but our name has. Um, and we're one of the market innovators for Giving Days, um, and we're also a full-service nonprofit software provider and we were recently rated one of the top nonprofit software providers by Gartner Research and Captera, which is kind of cool. Um, we're the technology provider for Give Big and host the event on our platform. So you do need a Mighty Cause account to participate in the event. And we're also providing technical support to your nonprofit and your donors for Give Big. Um, just as a bit of housekeeping, Andrea and I will be taking questions at the end of the webinar. So if you think of a question during the presentation, just type it into the questions box of your go-to webinar webinar panel, and we'll make sure to get to it at the end. And with that, I will pass the torch on to Andrea. Hello, hello. Thank you so much, Linda. And I really want to uh, to thank Mighty Cause uh, and Linda for your your years, uh, formerly Rezu, of commitment to San Bernardino County. Um, we, are, we are so thankful, and you guys have come through for us. And I think a lot of you um, may know that uh, that after the December 2nd shooting, um, you Razu at the time was the first group to reach out to me and asking about the nonprofits in San Bernardino. So you guys really care and we appreciate that. So, yay. Um, okay, so um, just some things we want to point out. If you haven't gone to the nonprofit toolkit for our training sessions, you need to do that. We have some fantastic training sessions coming up and part of your registration fee, um, actually your registration fee will get you into these. So you need to, you really need to avail yourself of these training sessions. Uh, they, are for, they are being done by pros in the community that know the landscape of San Bernardino. So you need to join in. Um, second one is friend us, or third one is friend us on Facebook. Uh, check in frequently as there are valuable updates. And I know that you probably know now with Facebook, you have to really choose to tend to go to the page uh, for it to appear in your in your um, in your news. So you need to do that. Also, let us know of any events you are planning. Uh, we have a a nonprofit um, group. I am so sorry, guys. We have a nonprofit group that is um, several nonprofit groups that are attending the social media, and we want to get word out on your social media events. And also, if you choose to try to call me, like some people do, um, you may get me ignoring you because I'm on things like this. So please uh, send me a text message. My number's at the end, um, and I will get back to you. And there you go. Awesome, thank you. I'm sure we can all hear that you are so busy trying to coordinate this event and talking to a million people. So I really appreciate you taking the time to be on this webinar. Um, so from here on out, it's um, pretty much gonna be me talking through the basics of getting started on Mighty Cause and for Give Big um, and talking about how to gear up for your campaign this year. So the first step in participating in Give Big is registering, as I'm sure you've heard from Andrea and the Community Foundation. Um, it's a very short form, so that doesn't take that long to fill out. Um, there is a registration fee for this event, which Andrea mentioned, um, which is less the sooner you register for the event. So through the end of the month, it's 125, and beginning in October, it's 150. So if you have not registered yet, now is the time. You don't want that fee to go up on you. Um, you'll hear from us in one or two days to let you know whether your registration was approved or if we have anything that we need to work out with you. And this year for Give Big, you can actually add other people as admins for your Mighty Cause page yourself through your profile. We'll talk a little bit about how to do that so that they'll have access to edit your page and view donor information. So really all you have to do is go to the Give Big site, click register, start the process, pay the fee, 
And just as a note, the Community Foundation is managing the registration fee for this year. So there is an outside link where you need to make your payment. It's in the email you'll get confirming that you successfully submitted your registration and again when it's approved. And you're not able to participate in the event without paying that fee. So if you haven't paid it yet, just make sure you do that as soon as possible. And just let me or Andrea or anyone else at the Community Foundation know if you're not sure where to pay that. Once you're registered and log into your Mighty Cause account, you'll want to get oriented to your Mighty Cause dashboard, also called your Mighty Cause Manager. Your home screen will give you a quick snapshot of important metrics and any news on the platform, and your profile is your organization page. So the terminology has changed a little bit if you've participated in years past. Your org page is now your profile. Um, and things are a little bit different than this this year. We rolled out the new Mighty Cause Manager earlier this year. So even if you are a veteran of Give Big and you've participated in years past, I really do take, recommend taking some time to log in, check out your dashboard, and see where things are because we have streamlined it and we've moved a little bit thing some things around to make it a little bit more intuitive for you to navigate. Um, so this is a little bit different this year. Your profile is um, the name of the, the org page, and you can edit that by clicking the profile icon on your dashboard. Um, your donations report is under the donation section of your dashboard, and these are important. You'll need to know where these are and how to export them. So take some time to click around and see what's there. You also have some donor experience settings you can tweak as well to make changes to your donor's checkout experience. Um, another new thing this year that's very exciting is you have a campaign screen. And this is a place where you can see any pages connected to your nonprofit. Um, so in, in a lot of years past for giving events, when you have peer-to-peer -peer campaigns going on and even some team fundraising challenges or you're just trying to figure out where your page was from last year, these are all centralized for you on this campaign screen. And you can also create new pages on this page is from this screen as well. So this is a really cool new tool. Um, so log in, see where it is, and see what other pages you have going on on the platform. You also have settings, which is where you can add other admins. Um, you just click the button that says add an admin and enter their email address and title. Um, you can manage your fundraising settings, set up EFT, which is your direct deposit option for disbursements. Um, so I really just recommend one of the first things you should do after you get confirmation that you've successfully registered is uh, log in, take a look through the Mighty Cause Manager and get used to your dashboard because these tools are going to become very important to you as you gear up for your campaign. After you've logged in and you've navigated to your profile, you'll want to update your page. If this is your first year, you'll need to fill it out because once you become an admin of your nonprofit, it's usually a little bit empty. But even if you're a veteran and you've done this for years, you want to make sure that everything on your profile is current and up to date. Um, this is the main page you'll share for your Give Big, so use your story and gallery to tell your story, talk about your campaign, and make your appeal to donors about why they should donate. Part of updating your page is updating your theme, which is basically just how your page looks. Um, so upload a logo. It does need to be one-to-one -one ratio or square. Um, and if you don't have one that works, if you have a Facebook profile picture that you've been using, that will also, in most cases, work as your logo on your Mighty Cause page. Um, and you can also up upload a background image to add visual interest to your page. Um, we have filters available, so you can ramp up the colors if you really want to make it stand out, or just tone it down if you really don't want that filter to be in place. You can change the color. Um, so you can change those things to make sure that your page looks the way you want it to and matches your brand as a nonprofit. And just as a note on background images, Mighty Cause is mobile responsive, which means that you can access the same page on a mobile device, a smartphone, a tablet. And what that means is that the page needs to be able to adjust to the size of the screen that it's being viewed on. And for that reason, um, background images with a lot of text um, can sometimes get cropped off on a mobile device, depending on the size of the screen or a tablet. So we really recommend keeping your background image an image image rather than doing a text overlay just so that it doesn't get messed up when somebody looks at it from a tablet or their mobile phone. Um, you can also set a theme color. So if you have a color for your brand, you can have that reflected on your page and change the color of some of the text in your donate button to match your brand and your logo. 
Also on your profile is your story, which is really the centerpiece of your campaign and your own space to tell your story and talk about your nonprofit and your campaign and get people emotionally involved in your work. We have a simple inline text editor that makes it easy for you to make your story look really jazzy and to add formatting like headers, lists, and so on to make your story more interesting to read. You can also add images and video to help tell your story. Images can be uploaded directly to the platform, but just as a note, videos do need to be uploaded to either YouTube or Vimeo before you can embed them. And both of these services offer free accounts, so you'll just need to upload the video there, have it hosted there, and then you can embed it in your story. Another cool thing you can do to your story is add a custom tab. So for instance, if you were having an in-person event or wanted to offer some information about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising for Give Big, or just wanted to supplement what's in your story with more information but not have it be on your page, on the main page that people go to, you can add a custom tab that people can toggle to to get more information. On your profile, you'll also want to add and integrate your social media accounts. You can upload images into a media gallery, connect your Instagram account, which will feed directly into your Mighty Cause page, connect a Facebook gallery, and optimize your social sharing settings. So you can actually add a custom image to share on social media, or Facebook rather, that is optimized for Facebook's setting so it's the right size and it looks good on Facebook because your logo might not translate on Facebook so you do have that option of adding that custom images and image in and making a few other tweaks. Um, this all gives people additional information about your work and just helps your page feel more robust and vibrant. So donations and disbursements are an important part of preparing for an event like Give Big. So I just wanted to take a few minute moments to talk through where all of this information is on Mighty Cause. Um, you will receive an email notification when a new donation is made if you're an admin. So if there's somebody on your team who really needs to be getting these notifications about donations, make sure to add them as an admin in your settings. Um, but you'll really want to um, utilize your donations report to track donations. Um, you can do it with the emails, but it's kind of messy. So we have this nice report for you that you can easily export. So um, use this to track your donations and just use the email notifications as a heads up about a new donation. Under the donation section, you can view and export a report with all of your donor data. And just keep in mind that the view when you actually go to your donations report on Mighty Cause is just limited by the space we have available. But you can export a spreadsheet that has much more information about each donation. So if there's something that you're not able to see in, this, in the view on Mighty Cause, export the spreadsheet because you most likely will find it there. Disbursements are twice monthly if you have EFT set up on the 10th and 25th of the month. And once per month, if you, um, once per month, if you get a check. So um, what this means is that since Give Big happens on October 30th, you will receive your first disbursement for any donations before the 15th of October on November 10th and receive the second half of the donations um, from the month with your donations from the event on the 25th. Um, if you don't have EFT set up, you'll get everything in one check sent around the 10th but we recommend setting up EFT so you can start getting disbursements sooner, get them directly, and avoid things like checks getting lost in the mail. We don't like when it happens. We try to prevent it as best we can, but unfortunately the US Postal Service is what it is and sometimes things get lost. So EFT prevents all of that and make sure that you get your money sooner. Once you get your disbursement, you'll be able to access a report for that disbursement under the disbursement section. So you can see everything that was included in that disbursement. So if you're reconciling and it's not adding up and you're not understanding what's on your disbursement, um, in, on your donations report, you can pull your disbursement report and you can see what's there, what was included, if there was any adjustment like a refund that is affecting the amount of your disbursement. So make sure you know where that is and know how to access it so that when you're doing all of your accounting for Give Big, you know where to get these reports. You can also add offline gifts in your donation section so your totals reflect all of your fundraising efforts and you can see where that button is located here on the slide. If you want to count offline gifts you'll just need to be sure that you have opted into counting them in your page totals which is in your page settings. And one thing I just want to make a note of because it's really important is that for Give Big only online donations count toward prizes. 
So you can add them to your page, but they won't affect your position on the leaderboard or help you win prizes. It's really more of a display tool so people can get a full picture of the fundraising you're doing. And for that reason, we recommend encouraging your donors to give online for Give Big whenever possible. So you have some pretty cool tools you can use to make sure that you've optimized the checkout process for donors and you're getting the information you want from them. The donor experience options are located under donations in your dashboard. And on this screen, you can choose what data to collect, add custom donation suggestions that tie a dollar amount into a real world item or service it will help your organization provide, and preview the whole checkout process so you can ensure that it functions the way you want it to for donors. And I really recommend going through your own checkout process yourself leading up to the event, um, because sometimes you'll choose your options and you'll, you say, oh, I wanna collect this, this, and this information, but then when you go through the checkout process, you go, oh my gosh, this is so many steps. And so that will help you winnow in on what you really need from people and make sure that that process is easy and simple because donating online needs to be quick and easy and convenient for donors. So you don't want that checkout process to be too cumbersome for them. We've also added a thank you page this year where you can add a video and a custom message and you can also add a call to action button to this page that will tell your donors where you want them to go after they've completed their donation. So perhaps that's your website, perhaps that's just back to your main Mighty Cause page, maybe you want to direct them to your Facebook page so that they can share on Facebook. It's really up to you, but that thank you page is what donors will see after they've completed their donation. So pay some attention to it. Um, in the donor experience tool, it's under post checkout. So you'll just need to toggle between the checkout steps and the post checkout steps to be able to customize that thank you page. That's also where you can update the custom message on your receipt. Also in donations are matching grants. Um, and a matching grant is basically a large donation that your nonprofit, nonprofit leverages to bring in additional donations by offering it as a match. So for instance, if you have a $1,000 donation from a major gift donor, you can offer that up as a match and say that any donations during Give Big will be matched one-to-one -one up to $1,000. And you can add your matching grant to display on your page using the matching grants tool. This is also under the donation section of your dashboard. You do not need to have the match fulfilled online, though it can certainly be fulfilled online if your grantor would like to help you win leaderboard prizes with their, their donation. But if you have a grantor paying by check, you'll want to count that match in your totals. There's a little checkbox where you can opt into or opt out of including it in your organization's metrics. Um, what that means is that if someone donates $25, and you have a one-to-one -one match live, you'll add $50 to your total to reflect the match so that you don't have to enter that total match as an offline gift separately. So we'll do it for you. You just have to let us know that you want us to do it. Or if they are making their donation online, you want to check, uncheck that box rather that says that you, or check that box that says don't schedule grant value in organization metrics. So you don't want to include it because that would include it. Basically count you the, the donation twice. And lastly, I wanted to go over your settings. On your dashboard, when you click settings, this is where you can add and remove admins, which as we've discussed is important so that the right people have access to your page. Update your legal address, which is also very important if you will be receiving a check. Um, set up EFT, which I recommend that everybody do because it's simple and easy and secure. And customize your URL and social media sharing options. Um, we talked a little bit about the social media sharing options. The URL, it can be customized so that if you have a really long legal name or you just don't want ink at the end of your legal name and it's showing in your URL because our system will pull your legal name, you can shorten it to something that reflects your organization's name but is maybe a little bit shorter, easy to remember, and easier to type into an address bar in a browser and also to fit into any marketing materials that you might be preparing for Give Big. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to a little bit of campaign strategy. As Andrea mentioned in her um, earlier in the webinar, they've provided a really great toolkit for nonprofits that you can easily access on the Give Big site. So we recommend making full use of this page. From the toolkit, you can sign up for trainings. And as Andrea mentioned, there's a lot of cool stuff that they're doing to help you get prepared for the event. Um, you can access tips and how-tos, 
find templates for social media and emails and more. And you can also watch old webinars. So if you miss this one or you miss the next one, it'll be posted in the nonprofit toolkit and you can watch it there. You can also find the Give Big logo to add to your own communications for the event or if you wanted to make some custom graphics for social media. You can start accepting donations for Give Big on September 30th, so take advantage of the ability to accept early donations and get a head start on the competition. You can, you can view the donations on your donations report and you'll receive emails knowing, letting you know that they've come in. And just as a note, these are not pledges. These are donations that are processed immediately and they just count toward your Give Big totals. So you'll just want to make that clear to your donors when you're asking them to donate early. It's not something that's scheduled in advance, it's something that processes immediately but helps you during Give Big. Donors don't need an account to make a donation, so they can easily donate on their own timetable and get, help you win big on Give Big. <coughs> Excuse me. One great way to boost your campaign and reach more people on Give Big is to activate ambassadors who are engaged supporters who start fundraising on your behalf. This can help you reach new people, raise more money, and engage your biggest supporters in a meaningful way. You can ask people to fundraise for you on social media and in emails, and it's just a really great way to go beyond your existing donor base and have new people learn about your work. Peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is all about people telling their own story about your work and their connection to it, why they support it, why they're so invested in your cause, and that has a great testimonial effect because people trust other people that they know rather than companies or organizations or nonprofits. So it helps you build grassroots support for your work and your Give Big campaign because they're going to go out to their social network and tell everybody that they should donate to their fundraiser for your nonprofit. So it really gets more people involved and helps you um, reach beyond the people that you already have in your email list. And finally, you'll want to spread the word about your campaign. Um, use all of your available channels like social media, your website, your newsletter, any events you're having, signs in your lobby, your email signature, and so on. Really go all out, make people aware of it, and use anything you have at your disposal to make people aware of your participation in this giving day. People are more likely to take action. Oh, I'm sorry. We recommend segmenting your donor groups to talk to people more specifically. People are more likely to take action when they're being spoken to personally, so segmentation is an easier is an easy way to see greater returns on your efforts. So basically what that means is that instead of sending a big blast to everybody in your donor base, you want to winnow in and separate out your big donors from your one-time donors, from your volunteers, and just make sure that you're talking to these groups specifically because the more specifically you speak to them and their interests and their relationship with your nonprofit, the more likely you are to see them take the action that you want, which is going to your Mighty Cause page and making a donation for Give Big. Um, plan, to, plan and schedule your communications in advance and make use of the info and templates available in the toolkit to help you do that. There's a lot of really great stuff there, so if you haven't already been in that toolkit and started looking at that information, make sure you do that because it's really important and there's lots of great stuff there that will make your campaign, planning your campaign so much easier. A best practice is to have a clear call to action or CTA, like donate or give now with a link to your page. Um, so in email, you'll wanna use those buttons that are available to you if you use something like Constant Contact or MailChimp. And on social media, you'll just wanna use that urgent language as well because it is time sensitive for you and it helps you be seen. It helps people not scroll by because you need their help now. Um, so you just want to make sure that everybody knows what to do. Um, sometimes nonprofits will put together really great emails with great stories, but then fall short when it comes to the call to action that asks, that tells the person who's read the email what to do. Um, so you just want to make sure that you use a clear CTA and you want to make sure that it is properly linked. So please test emails and make sure that your link works before sending them out. Um, and also just test on social media and make sure that the link goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, so that's it for the presentation. Um, I'd like to open the floor up for questions. So um, as I mentioned, if you have a question for either me or Andrea, you can just type that into the questions box on your GoToWebinar panel. Um, and give me, I'll just take a second and see what we've already got in the, in the queue. 
Okay, so the first question is, what are the benefits of using a fundraiser versus your organization page? Which is a really great question. Um, so your organization page is really um, a year-round page for your organization um, where they can learn generally about your work and you can use it to participate in a, an event like Give Big if you know you aren't planning on using Mighty Cause as your main platform. The benefit of a fundraiser is really that you have some campaign-specific tools available to you meaning you have a thermometer where you can monitor how much you've raised um, and you can set an end date. So that those two little things add urgency to your page. Um, so it's really up to you and how you'd like to participate. A fundraiser, as long as it's connected to your nonprofit, counts just as well as your organization page. So really just think about your campaign and how you're participating. If you're doing something like raising money to um, do repairs or to start a new program, a fundraiser page may be a great avenue to talk about that because you have that campaign specific messaging. Um, so it really comes down to what you want to do. Um, using either is perfectly fine and acceptable. Um, but if you're looking for that more specific campaign messaging and you want that thermometer on your page and you want to set a duration, a fundraiser is what you probably want to do. If you want to keep it simple and limit the number of pages that are there um, for your organization just to make it easy for people to find the correct page, then um, you can go ahead and use your organization page. Both are correct, neither is wrong. You can do whatever works best for your nonprofit. All right, so let's see. Um, can you explain more about matching grants? Um, so this could be a webinar in and of itself because matching grants is um, one of the more um, complex tools on Mighty Cause. Um, but basically, if you have a relationship with um, a board member or a major donor or even a corporate sponsor or community partner, and you're able to secure a large donation for them, you can talk with them about um, providing a matching grant. So instead of just taking the donation, like let's say somebody gives you $5,000, you can take that $5,000 and use it to drive more donations for yourself. It's basically like a BOGO deal for donors. Um, like they're getting something for free. They're doubling their money. They're making their donation go further. So that can be really effective at motivating people to actually stop and make that donation when you're telling them, hey, if you donate 25 bucks, you give our organization 50 bucks. Um, so that's, it's really just a, a campaign messaging tool. Um, you can work out specific terms with with your grantors. So some grantors will just provide the full donation for your nonprofit, no questions asked, and you're using it to market it to get more donations. And some don't grantors will really want to have a true match where they say, I'll provide up to $5,000. If you only raise $4,000, then you get $4,000, not the full $5,000. So you want to just talk to them about the terms and work it out. One thing that's really cool about matching grants is that if you have people in the community or businesses you work with, it can give them a little bit of positive PR because you can advertise that the matching grant is provided by their business or provided by this community partner. So they're a really great way to drive donations, to engage your major donors, your sponsors, um, and just have a bigger impact on a day where you have a limited amount of time to raise as much money as possible. Um, so as far as the tool goes, it's more or less straightforward. We do have a support article that goes into the nitty gritty of how matching grants work. And if you have questions or you're setting up a matching grant, um, you can always reach out to our support staff at support at mightycause.com and um, they will help you with any questions you have. If you just need some guidance, they can point you towards some resources. Um, but it's a pretty straightforward tool. It used to be a little bit more um, limited in terms of how it worked um, in previous years, but we did a, a recent update for it and it functions really nicely. And all you have to do is enter that information. Um, really the most important thing to know about matching grants is whether you're collecting the grant offline or online, because you don't wanna have that counted twice. So you don't want an offline donation to be counted or rather an online donation to end up in your totals twice because we're going to be automatically adding it to your totals. So just make sure that when you go through that process, you pay close attention to that checkbox that asks you whether or not you want to add the, the grant into your organization's metrics. Um, I'll share the link with Andrea and um, make sure that you guys have access to that 
um, support article for matching grants because they can really be a game changer on giving days like Give Big. So if you have that relationship with a grantor, um, I really do recommend trying to secure one. And it's early enough in the game now that you can start doing that outreach and scheduling those calls and trying to find somebody to provide a matching grant for Give Big, um, which will help you win prizes and climb up the leaderboard and basically crush it on Give Big on, uh, on October 30th. And, and Linda, I also think this is a good opportunity to get your board engaged. If your board could, as a group, come up with a certain dollar amount, then that could also be an incentive to come to kind of pool their money as a matching grant as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, and board members, part of their primary function for nonprofits is usually fundraising. So this is a really great way for them to fulfill their duties as people who are, you know, supposed to be providing guidance for fundraising for your nonprofit. So definitely um, looking within at your inner circle, like your board is a great place to start, especially if you've never had a matching grant before. Um, and just as another note to jump off of that, um, board members are also really great ambassadors for your nonprofit. So even if um, your nonprofit is not able to get your board to provide a matching grant, what they can do is get engaged in some peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Um, so that's another option that you can um, use to engage your board is, you know, ask them like, hey, will you create a fundraiser and, you know, reach out to your social network and ask them to support us. And they also, they have a, they have a great connection to your work. So they are natural, people to talk about what you do in the world and why it's important. So um, yeah, that's a great tip. And one other thing, you can also use this as your, your annual uh, day of giving for them. So they can commit and they can also use those dollars then to leverage more dollars. So if, if you look at this as instead of just giving at the end of the year, you know, pass the hat around, use this campaign to have the board give and then you know, that then their $10 donation or 20 or 30 or 40 could equal a golden ticket or more. Yeah, absolutely. It could be a total game changer for you. And that's part of why your board is there. Like they provide guidance, but they're also supposed to help you with money. So um, reach out to them if, if you're kind of not sure where to go with it, because they may be able to collectively give you money, or you may even just have a board member who's like, hey, I want to do this. Um, so yeah, that's totally amazing advice. Um, and um, if you have any questions about matching grants or how to do the outreach, um, Andrea is here to help. I'm here to help. You can email me directly with those questions um, since that's more strategic rather than like, what's my password? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just let us know. Um, we'll be help happy to help you out. We also have a lot of resources on how to sort of go about finding a matching grant. Um, we can't do the work for you, unfortunately, but we can certainly give you some best practices and some, some guidance in how to go about getting a grant. And it looks like that's all we've got for questions. Um, if you have any last minute questions before we end the webinar, just uh, type them into that questions box um, so that we can make sure to get to it. Um, anything, any burning questions you have, any technical questions you have, um, I'm here at your disposal. So I'll just give you a minute to um, type in there if you have anything. Um, don't be shy. Um, I won't tell everybody your name, but I want to make sure that you have a chance to um, ask any questions you have um, so that you don't have to send emails in the middle of your campaign. So, um, and, one thing, and, and while hopefully people are writing questions in, I also want to say that really Mighty Cause does have a, a wealth of information on the, some of the, uh, the tips like the matching grants, uh, but you should really, really, really think about, especially one thing that they that I learned from Mighty Causes, the where you can put the denominations and what those dollar amounts will do for your organization. Nonprofits that have those dollar amounts on their profile page or their organizational page tend to get more uh, donations because people can also see they they think okay by ten dollars i can you know feed a family for x amount or spay or neuter a you know a, a kitten or a puppy um if you put those denominations that people then tend to give more um so i, I encourage you to do that and really mighty causes the new platform is wonderful it's beautiful so linda thank you and thank the team for for making it so much easier and better Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for all of your kind words. Um, we're so happy to host Give Big San Bernardino 
on our platform. It's always an awesome event. And it's, it's, it's a big event too. Like you guys are like, I live in Virginia. Everything on the East coast is so much smaller. San Bernardino <laughs> County is huge. I looked at it on a map and I was like, Whoa, this is so yeah. much ground. <laughs> yes. It's bigger. It's bigger. It's the largest county in the contiguous United States. It's bigger oh than many gosh. states alone. So we are a geographically huge um, county. Uh, and and we have a, a we're a county with challenges. Uh, but our nonprofits are the ones that that really do step up and address those challenges. So we're so fortunate to have such a great group of nonprofits. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to see what you guys can do on Give Big San Bernardino. It's my first year as the project manager for this event. And so far, everything has been wonderful. Andrea and the Community Foundation have been on the ball. Um, and so it looks like we're not having any questions coming in. So um, I just I guess I'll wrap things up here and just remind you, you can always email our support staff at support at mightycause.com. We are here for you. If you've got a question from a donor that you don't quite know the answer to, you can also direct your donors to our support too. So we're right. here to provide support to everybody involved in this event. Um, and if you have any specific questions for me, um, you can always email me at lynda at mightycause.com. Um, I'm best for strategic fundraising questions um, because we have support agents who are available to, to help you with password issues and login issues and technical things. But I'm here at your disposal if you have questions about strategy or the best way to use the Mighty Cause platform. So don't be shy about reaching out. Um, so happy fundraising. It's, I'm super excited and I look forward to seeing what everybody can do on October 30th. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. Thank you, nonprofits. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at training. And remember, give big, 103018. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Linda. Bye. Bye.